everyone, so today we're going to be doing another nail tutorial, and the things you're going to need is a red solo cup, a uh, top coat, base coat, um, whatever colors of polish you want, I'm doing white and gray, and a nail polish, a uh, nail polish, haha, <laughs> a hairspray. So you can see I have a new mat, my mom helped me make it, so I thought it was very nice. The first thing we're going to do is start off with a base coat, and I'm just going to apply this to all my nails, and this is the new um, angle, I guess, or camera I'm using. I'm actually recording with my phone. I got an adapter for my tripod, so I'm going to be recording all my videos with my phone so that there is no chance of it cutting off or anything, which is awesome. So I'm right now I'm just waiting for the base coat to dry. And I got a lot of inspiration from this from the user Cute Polish. Um, she does a lot of videos here on YouTube. And um, for my pointer finger and my pinky on my other hand, um, if you watch her stone marble tutorial, it uses a gray and a white polish, and that's basically what I did. And um, my uh, camera, I was recording, not my camera, my phone, I was recording it, and um, my phone cut off the part where um, I did that, but I have some bloopers from that, so that's funny. And those will be in the end of the video. It also shows where my gray polish breaks in half, so I hope you enjoy that too. But um, you know, I'm just painting my nails white. You can use any color. I was gonna originally do black and white, but I decided not to. But this is also kind of like an inspiration of her mimic of her mismatched nails. But I did different techniques and different designs. Um, and also for my ring finger that you're going to see and my pointer finger for my other hand because I'm going to show you a picture in the end. Um, I used, if you saw my last video, you'll see that I did a video using nail art with striping tape and that is pretty much what I based it off of. I just placed it in a different way. But if you watch the tutorial, it explains a lot more about that and um, you can just go watch that video to learn how to do my ring finger. But I thought I was recording that and I actually wasn't, so. Yay! Um... I decided to just keep two of my nails very simple so that you can see the basic colors of this man here. So yeah, I'm just doing two coats, usual. You want to start with two coats so that your design will be nice and opaque and even if you're using a white polish, when you uh, do a design, everything is going to show up really nicely. So I'm just going to do that um, tutorial to my ring finger and then we're going to skip ahead to my middle finger. And I'm going to be doing polka dots. And um, I have these nail dotting tools. Um, I explained where I got them and where they were from. Um, my last video, so you can go watch that. But I'm basically just going to do one line down the center and then fill in every gap on the next side. It's like really easy. When I usually did po polka dots before I even did YouTube videos. I would never do it right and I would always do just random dots and I was like this doesn't look like any polka dot pattern I've ever seen and it was like really horrible but um now you can learn how to do it properly which is a good thing so yeah um this will be a little bit of a longer tutorial because you do know that I did five different nail designs in one video in one manicure and you can also as I said before um change up the colors like I was gonna do uh, black and white because I feel like they are a really good combo but um, I just felt like doing gray because it was a little bit more simpler and a little bit more interesting so now I'm just gonna let that dry and I do apply top coat multiple amounts of times and um, you want to do that if you're gonna be using the striping tape I also explained that in my other video but I'm gonna explain it here too and that is because um, when you use a fast drying top coat sorry it's thundering um, when you use a fast drying top coat, it dries faster and then it won't peel up the polish and you can do it sooner without having to wait like 5 hours for your nails to completely dry. Um, when I was first starting um, nail art, I would usually let my, I would just like, if I was doing one thing, I would paint my nails the day before, just one basic color and then the next day I'd go back and do the designs. But now I know I don't have to because I can just put a quick drying top coat. So you just see I'm cutting out the nail stripe and tape, I am going to have a tutorial in a few weeks on how to make a really easy nail striping tape cutter. I just have to gather the materials for that. But yeah, that's pretty much sums this video up. Um, this is just the main part of it. Um, I'm going to include a picture now. So this is the final manicure. And um, 
This is what I did on both ends, but you can only switch what nail you do one on. I decided to keep two of the nails, just the plain color so you could see it. And now, here are the bloopers. Okay, so <laughs> this was really funny. So this is me trying um, that stone marble nail look. And um, <laughs> first thing that happens when I take off the top of the nail polish bottle, the brush is stuck in the bottle. So um, if you just squeeze your nail under there, and then twist it back on, it should pop back into place. So I thought that was pretty funny, and I was like, what, what happened, what, why is this happening? So um, now I'm just shaking it vigorously to try to get as much polish in the thing as possible. And um, this is basically how you do that, so this is like a mini tutorial of that tutorial, and um, spray it, but it didn't work, and that was because I put too much polish in it so if you just put less polish and you spray it once you will get the same effect as usual thanks so as usual thanks for watching and i will see you next week all products will be linked in the description below and i will see you next friday bye